So this was from La, La Serena to Santiago again. Um, I, I made a mistake. This is a beautiful shot though. Is you, you basically swept along the coast and then inland a little bit, then along the coast, then inland and along the coast. Um, it wasn't a long day, about seven, six, seven hours riding, but I got to Santiago and it was very, very hot. Um, however, it was a, a really a good day's ride and I was so clean. So I was, so I was so glad to get there and um, after, after um, you know, uh, just a, bit, a little bit worried about certain aspects of my bike, um, it would, took me a while to get out of the last arena, um, but it was a pretty easy ride, you know, um, a short ride, but, you know, I, I was, for, most, for the most part, I was a little bit worried about two things. I, I, I'd had a couple of bolts come loose um, when I was doing some off-roading a few days earlier, and one of them, the nuts had come out, and I got some. One of the things that you'll learn when you, you go, you've got to have um, uh, uh, the zip ties. They're going to be they're going to be really really handy for you. And you know, I had a couple on my bike just tying things together just doing a lot of off-roading and, and a lot of the roads have got the corrugated stuff so it's just boom, 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 all the time and you've just got to check your bike every day and, and I, ch I thought I'd check my bike and just where the where the uh, side case is lugged into the bike uh, the little hook that, that you push it into uh, one had come loose there on one side of the, and was completely gone uh, and well the nut was gone out of it so I took the screw out and on the other side um, it would have come loose and I just tightened it but just, uh, I just out of, out of precaution, I just put some zip ties around both of them just to keep them secure. Um, it was still, it was still secure, but uh, not a hundred percent. So I was pretty keen just to get there and and get the bike in. I had written a whole list of stuff for the for the KTM guys. I was hoping when I got there that the KTM shop would be a pretty decent shop. From the photos that I'd I'd seen, it was, you know, it was a nice shop and. Um, so I was pretty forward, look, pretty much looking forward to get there. Again, um, my front, my front tire where I had that uh, problem with the air coming out was fine. Um, I uh, before with the rim being damaged, and as I'd said before, I'd, uh, um, I'd, I, so I'd, sorry, I'd replaced the front rim, but hadn't replaced the back rim. But I was getting, I was losing uh, air um, for a while until I got that fixed. But um, the the uh, the main thing that I was worried about was just um, there was just the clutch was becoming really loose on the bike, um, so I had a lot of play in my clutch and I tried a few things. I checked the the hydraulic fluid. The hydraulic fluid was fine. I'd flushed the hydraulic fluid out and, and put some new uh, put some new hydraulic fluid, and that seemed to work for a little while, and then it just went bad again. Uh, so. That was, you know, there was a few things that I wanted to take care of in San Diego. Um, you probably, on your whole trip, you're only going to get four, or four you know, maybe from uh, from Los Angeles all the way down. You know, Mexico City, a good shop. Um, Medellin in Colombia, a good shop for KTM. Uh, and and then San Diego, hopefully. Um, and I've got some more to say about that after afterwards. Um, so whenever you get your bike serviced at a shop, you shouldn't be leaving that day or the next day. You basically want to get the bike and ride it around a little bit. I mean, I got my bike serviced when I got back here to Miami and uh, just took it for a bit of a ride just to give it a bit of a test the day after. And um, all the oil came out of it, just started spewing out of the bike and the bike was just overheating massively. And um, I basically had to stop on the side of the road and walk the bike back about 10 blocks back to my place, um, which was not fun. And that was just just a simple mistake people make. They just didn't put the the, the ring back on properly the, the, on the cap, and then that screwed it up. Uh, so you've always got to check everything out after you get it get it serviced. There's things you can't check that you're not going to know. I mean, um, and I'll talk about that in a video once I get going from uh, Santiago. But I was to stay in Santiago for about four or five days. I think maybe even seven seven nights in Santiago, six nights in Santiago just to get the bike in for servicing, 
and just to relax a little bit, do some uh, upload some videos because I had 100 megabyte connection. So I thought I'd use that to. I mean, my computer was getting filled up and my discs were getting filled up. I had something like. By this time, I had probably 800 gigs of videos. Unfortunately, I didn't have any videos for today's trip because, again, with that drift ghost, I never, I never, it, it never happened before this part, but it just come out a little bit. The the SIM card, uh, the the memory, the memory card had just come out a little bit, and so it just wasn't recording. And because I didn't have any Wi-Fi the night before, I just charged everything. I didn't bother, you know, I just got like a 32 gigabyte card, I had a 64 gigabyte card, so I didn't bother. Um, downloading all the videos from it. Um, I didn't look, so I didn't know. So it was basically two days I lost a video. It's the only video. Here I am getting into Santiago. Really, really, sort of a pretty modern type city. Um, still a lot of poor people around and all that sort of stuff, but a pretty cool place and um, a good place to relax for a few days. Got some modern shopping centers so you can go and do some decent shopping. Doesn't have everything. And that's a downside of, downside of drift. Like with GoPro, you can get your parts for everything, but with Drift, you can't. Um, it's just not possible. So anyway, I'm just going to talk about the KTM dealership. Really modern dealership, really good guys, really expensive. Like probably cost me about $700 for the service, plus I had to get two new tyres. And, um, and you know, I didn't find out until a few, like the clutch felt good afterwards and all that, but the same problem happened a few days later. And then the leak, the leak started appearing again on my tyres. Here's the KTM dealership here. So they didn't seal the tyre correctly, and so I had that issue all for the rest of my trip with the uh, with the air just slowly, um, slowly going out of my tyre, my front tyre, and that was really, really frustrating. Um, so yeah, I had to deal with it and couldn't do much about it. So. Um, I just had to keep filling it up all the time, which was really annoying. So, sorry about no videos, but there'll be videos in the next few and uh, we'll be fine again. Alright guys, I uh, hope you have a good day. Any questions or comments, just leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them anytime from anyone. Thank you.